Hey guys, it's Pinot Noir Ice Cream Bar, and behind me you see nothing less than an instrument of terror. So I bet you all can guess what day it is. And today is not just a regular classic cocktail kind of thirsty day, it's a terrifying journey into the unknown abyss day. I'll be honest with you guys, I actually tried this cocktail because it has so many freaking ingredients. I could not finish it. It is super, super strong and also incredibly terrifying and it tasted like cold medicine. I'm very afraid to try and drink it again, but I'm gonna try. We're gonna see what's gonna happen and I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. So to make the zombie, you're gonna need about every ingredient that has ever existed, including apricot brandy, light or white rum, dark rum, gold rum, 151 proof rum, banana liqueur, pineapple, lime, and lemon juice, and of course, brown sugar. Also needed is anything you need to extract said juices, measures said booze, and a cocktail shaker filled with ice to mix it all up. The rule with this cocktail was that you could only have two per customer because that's how terrifying and dangerous it is. And, you know, if you look up this recipe, there's actually a lot of different variations. This one was by far the most terrifying that I saw, so I figured, hey, let's go for it. So we're gonna start with one ounce of creme de banane. That's not how you say that at all. I apologize to everyone that I just said that like that. One ounce of dark rum. Okay, and that was one ounce of gold rum. One ounce of light rum. If it feels like this is taking forever, it's because it is. Half an ounce of apricot flavored brandy. One ounce of pineapple juice. Of course, it should be fresh. Everything would be better fresh, but I live in the Midwest and there are no fresh pineapples. One ounce of my favorite thing ever, squeezing a lemon. I got some sticky gooey lemon juice on my table. Who wants to come look it up? And now one ounce of the much easier to squeeze out because it's already in a lovely bottle, lime juice. Easier, not as tasty, but so much easier. And finally, to top off the complete bizarre weirdness of this cocktail, one tablespoon of brown sugar. Our magical concoction is near completion. So because this concoction is completely terrifying and does not fit in a regular cocktail glass, I have to use a wine glass. A deep red wine glass chilled in the freezer. Watch it go! Yay! Hey, and the last thing we have to do, just because this clearly needs more alcohol, since it's almost all alcohol already, half of an ounce of 151 proof, and then you have to float the rum on top of this drink, which apparently involves pouring this very slowly over the back of a spoon. I did not do a very good job of this before, so let's see what happens. I literally had to like take a shower before filming this video to calm my nerves because this drink, I watered it down when I tried to drink it the other day, so it was like up to here, and I only got to about here. Look at the size of this beverage compared to my head. So let's see how far I get. Before I taste it, because I really don't want to drink it, let me tell you about the smell. It smells like actual rubbing alcohol with a slight pineapple scent. It's terrifying. <laughs> no, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it now. Oh man. <laughs> I definitely made this better than I did uh, the other day, yesterday, when I made this. It tastes a lot more pineapple-y than it did yesterday. Yesterday it just tasted like actual dying. The zombie. I don't even know what to say right now. I feel like I have to concentrate on like making this be okay somehow. The, the banana liqueur is absolutely horrifying and it smells like powdered banana candy and you taste it in this and it tastes kind of like fear. It tastes like fear. Can we take an intermission? <laughs> Can we do that? I feel like I've had almost half of it, if not more than half of it at this point, maybe. I will say that it's one of those cocktails where it's really awful in the beginning and then you kind of get past that really alcoholic rum taste 
And then you get into the terrifying banana fear part. There's still that pineapple that's there, so, you know, it gets, like, a little more tolerable as you drink it, and also it helps you, um, drink it because it completely numbs your ability to feel or think or do anything at all. I'm beginning to understand the name. So I'm gonna attempt to drink the rest of this, and we're just gonna see how far the conversation just devolves, right? So what would you guys like to talk about? It, I, on a surface level, it doesn't make sense. Why would you just, like, it's kind of stupid. I think what would be better is if catching the snitch was only worth, like, 50 points or something. Or, you know, 20 points. And it ended the game. And also, why was this game played on, at a school? Or, I mean, anywhere, first of all. But especially at a school where children are not wearing helmets and they're throwing around these big, giant... Metal balls. <laughs> that could kill somebody, you know? You could actually die. You could say what you want about other sports, but they're not, you know, in other sports, they're not these big, giant metal balls. <laughs> My jaw hurts. Oh! Oh, the banana taste! It's back! The banana's back! The banana is back! I just want to, like, text everyone and call every number in my phone and be like, well, hi, how are you? What are you doing? Guess what I'm doing? Drinking a zombie. That's the only reason I would continue to make this drink. So people could say, what are you up to? And I could say, I'm drinking a zombie. And they'd be like, oh, gasp. Also, look at the, I'm guessing this is from the brown sugar, but look at this like nasty rim that it's leaving. I really want to hold someone's hand right now. Like, not like, oh sweet, romantic, like tightly squeeze someone's hand for support, for moral support. I need help. I'm holding my tripod. Metal balls. 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 Metal. 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 Metal balls. Metal balls. The, the dog is angry and racist against pigs, and the sheep have their own language, and the, the duck is drunk. Is it a duck? Maybe it's a swan. It's a water fowl of some kind. It's a duck. Babe becomes a sheep herding dog. Anyway, the mice sing a song with the farmer, and it's really cute. I don't think I'm selling this movie very well. Don't make a horrifying disaster. <laughs> this is... This is a horrifying disaster. I don't want to drink this quickly because I think that would be even worse than drinking it slowly. Okay, so this is probably my second to last sip. Monumentous occasion. Cheers to that. I'm so ready to not drink this anymore. Crying a little bit. <sighs> Who would I recommend this cocktail to? Um, I would recommend it to absolutely nobody ever. Uh, you should not make this. It is... Horrible. Here we go. Empty glass. Except for all of the disgusting, like, brown sugar bits that got in there. My book has been closed long before I am filming this outro. I have nothing else to learn today, and I clearly have nothing that I would be capable of teaching you right now. Thank you guys for watching. I want to take a nap. I hope you got your fill of, um, banana and metal balls. I hope you love everything always. And that is my number one wish for you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next Thursday when we will all be so thirsty, but definitely not thirsty for this because this is horrible. Well, goodbye then. But seriously, though, don't drink this. This is bad.